Well, first of all, Zach, how have the players reacted on the training ground this week to the defeated Sheffield on Sunday? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a good week so far. Um, was putting a lot of work this week and, and uh, obviously trying to look forward. Um, but we have had the debrief. We have we have gone back and had a look at it, and and the lads, you know, we've we've got to, we've got to hold ourselves accountable for for a performance that was nowhere near good enough. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, like you say, we we have to put it right on the training pitch leading up to to a good game on, on Saturday. And your manager, a former defender, didn't like the goals that you conceded on Sunday. How do you stamp out those errors? Yeah, it's it's he's, he's right. You know, it was it was very soft goals. Um, we have to be more resilient as a team to, 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 to stop giving away cheap goals. Um, at the moment, it's very easy to to, well, to, to score goals against us. Um, and like you say, it's, it's a team thing, you know, it's everybody, everybody's involved and we have to, we have to pull together as a, as a unit, as, as one unit and, uh, and, and stamp it out ourselves. And it's a young squad, isn't it? How do you get some consistency into the team when they're trying to bed so many young players in at the moment, given there are injuries as well? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's it's obviously we've got some younger lads playing, but I mean they're, they're on. They're, obviously, there's a few injuries, but they're also there on credit as well. You know, they're they're very good players. They're very talented players, and I mean it showed in the in the home games that we had before the before the Sheffield United one. It was you know they they were, they were quality. So um, <clears throat> obviously the consistency will come with playing games, and uh, that's what that's what's been happening. So I think it will it will naturally come, and and will hopefully. Uh, pull together, like I said, as a unit and, and go forward. Blackpool was a long time ago now, but how do you assess your season so far? Yeah, it's been up and down, uh, been in and out. Um, so f for me coming in, I, I have to make sure that I'm at the level that's set um, and and take my chance when it's there, you know. So if I'm if I'm playing, I always have to make sure that I'm at the right level for, for myself and keep myself, when I'm not playing, keep myself at the level, um, ready to just step into step into the shoes of the person in front of me. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's obviously, it's difficult being being in and out of the team, but it's, like I said, you've got to take your chance when it's there. How did you turn those eight games when you weren't in the team from, I think, the draw against Luton to your return against Birmingham? How did you turn that into a positive to make sure that you were ready to take the opportunity when it came? Yeah, it's, it's obviously nobody wants to, to not be playing. So you have to be, you have to be ready out on the training pitch every time you get a chance to to put your boots on and, and actually go out there and work, you have to be working, you know? So it's something that you you have to kind of do yourself as in like within yourself. Um, and, and like I said, mentally keep ready as well as physically. And and I think that's just as important. I think you could, it's, it's easy to, to let your head go and uh, and not and not be at the level mentally as well. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, I think you have to, you have to look within yourself and, and work on and work on that sort of stuff and, and make sure that when you're training and you're and the gaffer's there and, and everything's you know on show you have to be you have to be at it and is it a positive after birmingham and coventry that were two tough games you then had that, that long two-week break that you've returned i saw you against blackburn and the game against stoke you've played two good performances are you pleased with that and proud of that yeah of course of course that that two-week break is is the longest two weeks when you don't have a good result um, and uh, and yeah, like you say, it's 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 nice to to get the chance again and and um, and and put it right, you know. Um, so yeah, definitely for for me, it's it's been like I said, it was it was a long time for me to be mentally kind of going through it all, and and yeah, I needed to like I said, stay ready and and t take the chance when it's there. And twenty four years young now, you can play right back, centre back, midfield. What's your <laughs> preferred position? Uh, the one I'm in at the moment. <laughs> um, I think uh, right now playing playing right of a, right of a three is is what I like to to do and, and I like I enjoy that obviously <clears throat> I don't mind playing in, in those other ones but I think for me if I, if I was to play right of a three that's that suits me down to a T and uh, and at the moment we're playing that um, so <laughs> it's uh, yeah it's good and it's a strange one on Saturday Derby a bottom of the league but they've got this points deduction so you've got to treat them better than their position would suggest. Yeah, obviously, you, you can't. You have to look at the team as a whole. You can't. You don't want to look at them as where they are in the table and stuff because uh, they've had some. They've had some decent results, and we need. We need to. We need to make sure that we're ready for, for them as a team and not them for the table. You know, we have to. We have to make sure that we're, we're at it and, and we keep to our levels and um, like we did earlier on in the week last week and, and make sure that we're we're ready to go. Nice to speak to you, Zach. See you soon. You Thank too. you. Cheers.